I've not got eyelashes on. What are you doing today, Jamie? Uh, training, looking at marketing team structure to scale the team. I've got a mentoring call, um, writing an end to end process for my training program to the gym. Got some phone calls, got mastermind tonight. What goes in this drink? This is ultra juice green powder. And then there's plankton for goldfish. Oh, great. And the, this leaks as well. <laughs> I always thought being a PA would be a glamorous job. <laughs> and heels. And now it's more Bridget. <laughs> um. Sorry, you okay, mate? <laughs> yeah. Looking at my phone, making money. Dan's, they're not mine, the Dan's. Unless you just associate it when you go for the walk. Dan, why have we got so many Kit Kats? Because it's a, we've, I've been bought them by my loving staff. No. Yes, yes, the user has to log in to the customer area. Right. Are you sure you're not struggling that much? Yeah. Oh, it's plugged in. Anyway, Alex, what do you want us to talk about? I want you to talk about right, work-life okay. balance. Right. Like, right, what does people think of a per the perfect work-life balance is? Oh, you need to ask the question. Just getting by. <laughs> Just getting by. 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. 7 days. No work, no life. Correct answer. Yeah, who wants a pay rise at the end of this? Right. Right, <laughs> Toyan? Uh, well, do I have to look at the camera? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think it depends what stage you're at in your life. Like, as a parent, obviously. I'd be here fucking eight till eight if I could, but I need to get home to my kids because I'm not there for them, then what's the point? So I'm interested in Katie's opinion on this because I know Katie loves being on camera. Oh. No, no, she's, no, she's saying stop. No, so what do you think of work life balance, Katie? I didn't really hear all the conversation to first. Like, that work, is the question. Work life, balance, work life balance, yeah. What, what's the, what is the right answer, the perfect work life balance? I don't think there is because it's just going to be dependent on the individual and their personality because like some people will be work 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 and that's like what they live for and that's what they love whether they own a business whether they work for someone that's just their thing and then there'll be other people who it's like family's their thing they just go to work because they need to so they'll be like get in do your hours and then um, I think it's important to like try hard and work but as long as if you're working for a company then they appreciate that and don't take the piss out of you. And then if you own a business, if that's what you want to do and then you grow it, then you should have, be a lot more invested. Good answer. I feel there was a little dig of me in there as well. <laughs> as long as the owner appreciates all the fucking extra hours you do. <laughs> AJ, go on. You either live to work or work to live. Oh, fucking hell. That's you've been, the, you've been the, sat there Googling I quotes whilst honestly, everyone else is going. I haven't got it, but no, I think it's dependent on very much the individual. I think if you enjoy what you're doing and that's, you know, that's what's good for you, then you don't mind being in work because that balance is fine. You, you know, you're happy where you're at. Mm. But if you ever feel like, you know what, and again, it is different with age. I think once you've got other responsibilities, kids, people to care about, 
you have to keep that as a factor. But I very much agree with Andy as well, which is that, you know, if you want to be someone who just wants to, you know, spend time with their kids and stuff like that, you know, you, you have to have those, um, something's got to sacrifice basically mm -hmm. to make it work for everyone. Because otherwise, you know, when those kids get old and those kids want PlayStation 5s and those kids want everything, you can't do it if you're not working. Where if you're working and you've got the balance right, and you enjoy what you do, happy days. I don't think there is a PlayStation 5. No, it's soon, November, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. come back to it. Yeah, we'll be here. Oh, yeah, good point. I'm not that one, kids. George? Uh, yeah, to second AJ's point, but I think there's many variables. Age, career, like a sales job, you work longer than most jobs, so work life balance, it changes. We're about to your own world, ambitions, etc. For me, at the moment, my hobbies are my hobbies, so I work to enjoy my hobbies as well, and I like to train on an evening, so my work-life balance has to be to make sure I'm still doing what I want in the evening, but still working hard through the day. That might change in a few weeks, it might change in a few months, it might change in a few years, but right now that's, that's where I am. And go on then, back at you then. Um, How do you define a work-life balance, personally? Okay, I think, as a business owner, work-life balance is bullshit. I think it's more about a blend. So, like it's, it is a way of life. So like Friday, it's not like I'm thinking, oh brilliant, the weekend's coming because I'm fucking working on the weekend, grafting. And it's a fairly- PG video, this. Nah, it's not. N none of my video, every, every single video that goes out, it's like do me again, then expletives, life, so. not appropriate <laughs> for kids. But no, it's, it is that blend, I think, where actually even if I'm having the weekend off, I'm bound to be doing some work. I think as an employee, it's down to what's going on in your life. So for example, if you've got a partner at home, a wife, husband, whatever it is, that's also working and earning good money, then it's sort of more of a, probably a more relaxed atmosphere because actually if both of you are earning at home, then you can take that approach. If you're the breadwinner, whether you're the male or female, then work has to be a priority where you're grafting more, because your role in that partnership or whatever is to put food on the table. Whereas your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend at home is maybe taken care of at home. And also think it's a situational about what you want. So if you want the niceties in life, like one thing that pisses me off is there's no right answer, but what pisses me off is when people sulk about something at home, but aren't willing to put in the graft. It's like, if you don't have enough money, fucking work harder, put in the extra hours, sell something, add more value, make money. Um, whereas if you're happy with what's on, going on in life, then cool, relax a bit. But I don't know. And like you said, it's situational around your age. So like right now, I don't have kids. So I'm gonna absolutely graft my balls off to earn as much money as I possibly can so that when I do have kids, I'm very clear that I want to be able to drop them off at school, pick them up from school, stuff like that. If I don't put in the hours now, it's unlikely I'm going to be able to achieve that. So I think a blend of what's going on at home. But what, what is the right blend in your eyes? Right for now? me? And have you got that right blend, do you think? No. For, for me, I'll never have it right. Like I, I'm quite an extreme where I'll work too hard, burn myself out, then take it easier, then I get really bored. Like I'll finish a project and be like, thank fuck the project's done. God, I'm at, right, what's the new project? Because I get bored after a few days. So no, I definitely don't have it right. And I almost definitely will never have it right. Because it's more of like, if here's perfect, I'll bounce between here and here. I think for the average person, um, you know, in general, you've got what, 168 hours in a week. So if let's take off 68 of that. Um, straight away for your sleeping. Um, you could have at least at 69 there, surely. No, I'm a grown up, I'm an adult <laughs> for this video anyway. So then let's say you've got 100 hours left. I'd feel fine as an employee working anything up to 70 hours a week comfortably. Um, and that's whether it's only my own business or working for somebody else because, but that's just my attitude. Like if I'm, if even if I'm working for, for somebody, it would be in a role where I'd want to be going, how the fuck can I earn money? Um, and then I know that value is the same as money. So if I earn, if I put in more value or get somebody more value, I'm likely to be able to go, right, I want a pay rise or I want a bonus and things like that. So yeah, probably that sort of split. So 70% of the available 
time off to sleep that I've got, I'd feel very comfortable doing. Have you heard the new thing though? So one of the things is saying that actually it's not a work-life balance. There's three different things. So you've got your work, your your life, which is basically your family and others. And then a lot of people are saying now one of the new things is you. So your mental state and stuff like that, because there's actually, you could have a good work-life balance, but then not care about yourself in any way at all, because you're focusing yeah. on too many different things and not what's important to you the most. It's a new pillar that people are basically saying, where if actually, if you kept all, it's very difficult to keep all three <clears> happy <throat> at the same time. You could yeah. spend loads of time dedicating it towards your kids, but then that could be damaging your career and impacting your mm. yeah. prospect, which damages you as your mental state, which I think is like a really good way of looking at it because to try keeping on top of all three, it's an ever going challenge, but actually you can easily grow all three as well at the same time. So if you were very good at, you know, if you're very confident in what you do, and your mental state's in a good place, you could bring that very much to your career and then also pass that down onto your family and spending time with them by yeah. doing more. So that that's the, so when I'm talking about blended learning, oh, blended learning, I've got blended learning program. <laughs> about the course, I know, oh, blended learning program, Ble like blended living instead of that balance, that's kind of what I mean. So like, I'll be here, well, I've got mastermind until nine o'clock tonight and then I need to finish off something I should have done today. So I'll be in the office till like 10.30. Yeah. I also did some cardio this morning. I've also been to the gym. I've also taken some personal calls. I'm also walking around all the time. So it's like, so I always get my fitness in the day or yeah. try to at least. So I'll always have me time for that. And then it's just about balancing the rest of it. So I, I'm a big believer in the quality of time over the quantity. Like, so, so growing up in my house, um, you know, my, my mom, single mom, but like when I got home from school, it'd be see if I could get the right order. Ooh. All right, let's go. Cartoon Network. Holly Oaks. Oh yeah, obviously Cartoon Network. <laughs> but yeah. we, we, we didn't have that in the house. We couldn't afford that. You had a TV? No, so, we, so it'd be like, is it Holly Oaks then Simpsons or is it Simpsons then Holly Oaks? I think it was Hollyoaks, Simpsons. Simpsons was six, wasn't it? Six, yeah. Yeah. Um, then Emma Dow, Coronation yeah. Street, EastEnders, yeah. and then of course Takeshi's Castle. Oh. Right, you got to round us the day properly. Don't fuck around. No, no, it and, but it was like, yeah. Apart and what, that one guy, and, and everyone what, can remember yeah, that one guy, but I no one ever saw the episode. And then Craig, what's it, whatever his name was, was like, what does he win? Sweet FA. <laughs> or was, what does he win? Pride. <laughs> and it's like, so, so that was it. So, so although I spent loads of time in the evening with even my mate Matt being round, or with my mom, um, with my brothers and my sister. It wasn't quality time and we'd eat dinner watching TV. So it's like every night we'd spend four hours together and then go to sleep. And it's just like, but no fucking quality time. It's the same with like dates. It's like, I'd rather have a date night every two weeks. But, you know, if you're spending those three, four hours together, turn the phone off and it's like, right, I'm with that person and actually doing something with it, like an activity yeah, um, rather than, oh yeah, should we chuck on another film? and checking your texts or checking your emails or something like that. So I, I do think you can fit a lot in, but people go, oh yeah, I spend loads of time with my kids. And it's like, do you? what do you do? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? Because if you plant them in front of the TV and that's all you do, that's not fucking spending quality time. I, I'd rather have, um, there's a guy in America called Aman Sadeji and uh, I listened to his podcast about three years ago and he said about the intent of it. So like, every week he has date night where he'll turn off his phone and he makes like a deliberate thing of it. It's like, no, this is our time sort of thing. And then he has daddy's night once a week where like he gets to go, he goes up, basically it's for his wife to go do whatever she wants, get away from the kids. Yeah. He calls it daddy's night where same thing, phone off and then the kids are with him. And then there's mummy's night where the kids will go with them and then they'll have family night every week. And it's like, so really he's only going out with his kids twice. Yeah. A week or whatever it is, and out with his missus once a week. But I imagine it feels a lot more than most kids that go home and do fuck all. So, yeah. Okay, and sit and watch Netflix. Intent and blend, I reckon. What do you think a good work life balance is? Let me know in the comments. Is that a camera?